God bless you. My name is Abraham. And uh, Friday morning when I came at 6 o'clock, I noticed a, a sergeant. I, I don't know his face. And I can't think of his name, but I do know his face. I can uh, point him out in a lineup that was gathering people's personal belongings. And I asked the question, where was everybody at? In the back pagoda that's, that I'm looking straight towards, they arrested 20 people back there, uh, possibly five women, uh, Vietnam vets, Korean vets, people that were sick. And they let one person go because he was sick. The pregnant woman was also a veteran. They let her go back there too and told her next time they catch her sleeping, they're, they're going to arrest her. This is the, so our, one person got out of jail and I looked at the ticket because no one believed that it. it was a ticket written saying that it was uh, sleeping on the beach and it was a violation. Um, also, today is Saturday, the day after the, the abuse of uh, First Amendment, people's rights to, to sleep on the earth. They came and took a lot of artists, art, personally my art, uh, signs that I had, uh, written about uh, Senator McCain, uh, Jesus, uh, and other things to tell people to stop killing each other. But I and also noticed that the LA Times news paper stand over there that collects money 24-7 on public property. Uh, they didn't bother that at all. And this is not the first time they've taken uh, my art away from me. Uh, they can come and just tell me. I, and they know they can do that with me. Uh, and, and they arrested three other people that I know of too. And these people will be locked up for the whole weekend for just sleeping on the beach. Thank you. Hi, my name's Bear. And uh, I'm out here in Venice Beach, homeless, because I've been doing time. I just got out, and they won't let me go back home because of the parole. But two nights ago, while we were sleeping, a bunch of us people were sleeping in the pagoda on the beach when the cops come. They kicked us, they took our pictures and laughed and got everybody's property, threw it away, and took us all to jail for misdemeanor. Just for being homeless, is, is that a crime? According to the Pacific Division policemen, it's a crime. But I don't see that. This is America, home of the free. If we can't be free, then what are we? But anyway, they took us to jail. They took 17 of us, four women, and the rest of us men. They released me of an OR because I take too many pre prescribed uh, drugs, prescription drugs. And they released me, but they kept everybody else. And they told me not to be here in Venice Beach no more. You know, that doesn't give them no right to tell us where we can go or where we can come from. And that's all I got to say. And I'm also a Native American, I'm Apache. Chiricahua, and uh, they won't let me go back home to Missouri. So I'm gonna stay in California till I end this parole. And with that, I thank you for your cooperation. Uh, it's, uh, David, you know what I'm I David. I'm saying I came out here from Arizona. I'm trying to get up to Oregon, so I'm backpacking and stuff. I came here from Santa Monica Beach last night to Venice Beach, and me and my two partners were all trying to sleep, and the cops roll up to people like maybe 10, 20 feet away from us. I, I don't know if they didn't see us or anything, but we were kind of hidden. And like, they didn't even say nothing. They just said, wake up, look up, say cheese, took a picture of them. Oh, you're going to jail for sleeping on the beach. They did this to like 10, 15 people last night. I'm saying, it's kind of hard to sleep out here as it is and stuff, outside, whatever. But you're getting all harassed by the p police and stuff. It's just not right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to do. I'm trying. I'm just trying to get to Oregon, like, safely without even going to jail just for sleeping, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. And... Uh, my name is Sean Jimerson. Um, I've been out here for quite some time. Uh, 
what I saw was a lot of my friends get arrested, at least about 10 or, or 15 of them get arrested. Um, I don't think it's right, you know, they, they take away our rights, they take away everything that we have. The only thing that we have is, you know, is, is what we have out here, you know. And uh, I'm getting tired of, you know, them taking our stuff, you know. This has been like two or three times already I've lost my stuff. And other people as well. Um, they harass us. They, uh, what they do is, 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 is terrible. You know what I mean? They just come around and they, and they, they t uh, prey on us. You know what I mean? They try to make us nervous. They drive by us several times. It's not right. It's just not right at all. You know, you shouldn't have to feel nervous around the area that you sleep in. Um, there should be some changes made because it's not right. You know, it's not right how they do it. You know, um, I'm, I'm sure me as well as other people feel the same way and uh, something needs to be done about it. Um, all my friends have been taken. Um, it's been a raid about two days now. Uh, they took about maybe 10 or, more, uh, 10 or 15 more people yesterday. Um, it started two days ago and something needs to be done about this because it's not right. You know? so, I hope somebody is hearing this and they can do something about it. Because uh, our, our rights, we don't have any rights anymore from what they say. Um, it's a terrible thing. I hope somebody uh, steps up and you know, makes a change, make a change for all of us, actually. Um, not just me, just everybody, for all the homeless people. I'm talking for all the homeless people. We need to stick together and uh, do something about this. Thank you. Uh, my name is Glenn. I'm a U.S. Marine. I have been in every war since 1985. Um, I came home from Iraq uh, in 2004. I have a bullet in my head. I come home, I can't get any benefits because I disobeyed some direct orders. Um, went against uh, what the government told me I should do and should not do um, against her orders. The Taliban does not have a rule book. They didn't care who was in the, in the Twin Towers when they bombed it. They didn't care who had kids and who did not. So I played by their rules. I went off on a tangent. I did what I did. I did what they trained me to do. I killed terrorists. I pick up, picked up an unauthorized missile. I disobeyed two direct orders. I got shot in the head. I saved my fellow Marines' life, but you know that's, that's small talk, according to the government. I have a bad conduct discharge. Would you like to see it? It's right here. No. 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 Then I come home. I have no benefits because I have a bad conduct. So where's the discharge you can get? You know why? Because once you assault an officer, use unauthorized missiles, go against America's rule books, they don't want you anymore. They train you to do certain things. And then when you do them, they disavow you. So now I sleep on the beach I defended, and you know what I get every day? I get tickets. Tickets I can't pay because I'm homeless. I'm a homeless Marine. For the shore I defended, and I, have, and I get tickets for sleeping on the, the shore I defended. I have little sense left because I have a piece of lead in my head. I just can't figure this one out. Is there anybody out there can help me? Is there anybody out there?